Scott. Uh, thanks, Jay. When the president learned about the findings of the IRS audit in the newspaper, mm -hmm. did he ask senior advisors why he was learning about this from the newspaper? Uh, no, I don't believe he did. I'm, I wasn't uh, present when he learned about it, but I know that he was uh, not happy with uh, uh, the apparent conduct because, again, this was uh, incomplete information. The uh, IG report uh, had not been finalized or released, uh, but uh, I think that the tenor of the President's public comments about it, uh, both in his statement Tuesday night and his public uh, comments the next day, reflect uh, his feelings upon learning uh, about the uh, apparent conduct by IRS officials in Cincinnati. Just a quick follow Did he ever ask, not necessarily in a critical vein, but just to, just to sort of get a sense of how the White House is operating? why he wasn't informed of that earlier, or was that, was that self-apparent? I was asked yesterday about this. The President believes, uh, has, has faith, believes that the uh, Council's decision was the right one and has faith in, uh, in her judgment on these issues. This is the kind of thing that was an ongoing, again, let's be clear, let's step back and look at what we're talking about here. This was an uncompleted, ongoing, independent Inspector General's audit of uh, activity by IRS personnel uh, that turned out to be wholly inappropriate and wrong. It would have been wrong for him uh, to do anything uh, about it while the audit was still uh, underway. It would have been, uh, at the very least, created the appearance of intervening in an ongoing investigation or audit. Uh, and the cardinal rule here, uh, as it should be, is that you do not intervene in ongoing criminal investigations or ongoing independent inspector general audits. I understand your point. I, my, my, mine is more that that was so obvious to him that he didn't even need to ask anyone about why he wasn't informed. Again, I, I wasn't privy to every conversation that he had about this, but I know that he has uh, faith in uh, his counsel's judgment, which I think has been testified to by numerous people who actually know what they're talking about in this area. Uh, and this is not about public relations. Obviously, when a story like this breaks, uh, we had to make the decision uh, not to react to it uh, until we had the actual facts, as opposed to reacting to partial information that appeared in the press. Uh, and that can be judged as uh, inconvenient from a communications point of view, but it's absolutely the right thing to do from a substance and policy point of view.